I am about to go pick up my wedding dress that I have not seen once in the last six months. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm in the bed a little bit, just like a tiny little eensy bit. The first time I went to go try it on, I could see my whole ass through the fabric of the dress. And the second time I tried it on, it had just come back from a bridal trunk show. It looked like a soiled doily and its entire zipper was popped. I've always kind of taken this as a, as a good omen because if I can love this wedding dress enough to get married in it, probably the one time, hopefully, that I will ever get to wear a wedding dress and I've only seen it in, it, in her mangliest form. So I'm pretty sure that means that it's gonna be my favorite dress of all time and I'm not gonna regret my decision at all. I also spent so much of my own money on this. Like I spent my tax return on this dress. So it better be good, I better like it. So anyways, I'm in a good place basically and I'm definitely not stressed. I'm gonna go so simple on my makeup today because I want this to be an unaltered opinion of this dress. Did I tell you that I'm also gonna get jewelry designed, custom jewelry designed with this amazing jeweler who is gonna make me like a custom little jewelry set. But I'm so excited because she is a fantastic designer and such an artist in her craft. Also, when in the world are you ever gonna commission custom jewelry if not during your wedding? That's at least how I feel. This is my favorite thing of all time. This Charlotte Tilbury little, uh, whatchamacallit, Hollywood filter thing. This stuff is magic. It's magic. I think it's gonna be a good day. I'm not, I, I've also decided that today, <laughs> after I'm done with wedding dress pickup, as silly as it sounds, this is gonna sound insane, because you would think, that a wedding dress pickup would be um, the reward of the day, but I'm obviously nervous about it. So I decided to plan myself a little treat afterwards just for like getting through the sort of hubbub of it. Um, I'm gonna go pick up oil pastels because I've been super inspired by a bunch of pictures I've seen on Pinterest to pick up, to pick up oil pastels again. I used to love doing it when I was younger I already watercolor flowers, but I hadn't really thought about going into the oil pastel realms. So we're gonna do that together, you and me. Um, we'll go to my favorite art shop, which is called Blue Rooster. That complexion hits every single time. I only do my powder now in the most haphazard, ridiculous fashion. Okay, eyeliner, mascara, maybe some eyebrows, curl the lashes, and you're done, bitch. Okay, this is the fit I'm rocking. We're gonna have to roll because I'm gonna be late. Who's f***ing surprised? Last thing I want is just some like gold jewelry. I have a single earring, that's helpful. Fine, no jewelry. Let's go. And yay verily, I went to sink and tried on some stuff and felt very good about it. And actually ended up bringing my whole wedding dress home if you can believe it. So this is gonna be her home for the next two and a half months. Before it's wedding time, baby. I'm gonna really quickly run downstairs. There has not been a single lick of sun in California, I feel like for the past two months. And I have a little sun trap at the end of my garden. So I'm gonna go sit down there and just lay in the sun for a little bit because I feel that I deserve it. I'm also reading Joan Didion, finally slouching towards Bethlehem. I have never read it before somehow. I am finally reading it. And I'm loving it so much. I actually just got past the short story slouching towards Bethlehem and it is incredible. The little girl with the white lipstick. What the f Hey, who's it? That's what's happening. So I'm gonna go enjoy the sun and then we're gonna go get oil pastels. I know I'm probably preaching to the choir here, but if you haven't read Joan Didion, do yourself a favor. It's the next day. For some reason, we didn't do this on the same day, but I went to Blue Rooster with Will, my favorite art supply shop. And look at how cute this little box is that they gave me for all my oil pastels. Uh, I'm so excited, let's get to art. Okay, here's an oh so brief art haul. A snow cone that is currently in my stomach, love that. And then this little box that has oil pastels in it. Hopefully I got enough colors that I like. Here are some of the pieces that I'm trying to emulate and what I'm going for. Let's do it. As someone who is currently dealing with a surplus of anxiety surrounding my wedding and making sure everything's going well, my anxiety has been a little 
little higher than usual, we'll say. Well, usually I would go to Will for all of the anxiety that I'm feeling or the stress that I'm feeling around this, but he's right there with me. And I don't wanna be a burden to someone who is also feeling anxious about something and is also feeling stressed about something. And that's why talking to a third party is really, really important. And this is why I'm happy to say that BetterHelp is sponsoring this video today. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you and give helpful, unbiased advice. First, you can go to their site. My link is betterhelp.com slash rose and you'll answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience of helping people just like you. Via phone call, video chat, or message however you feel the most comfortable. It is the easiest way to start therapy. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your home. Visit betterhelp.com slash rose or choose Arden Rose during sign up and you'll get a special discount on the first month. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the artwork. Armed with the latest season of The Adventure Zone. Yes, I like to listen to D&D podcasts while I am artworking. It was time to begin. I have not done uh, oil pastels in quite a while. I'll tell you one thing, doing this with long nails, not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Did I find absolute delight and joy in picking up something that I haven't picked up in a really long time and feeling very soothed and weirdly confident about it? Yeah, I felt pretty freaking darn good about it. The thing is, I haven't picked this up in a really long time because I was nervous about being real bad at it at first. And I understand if you don't want to do any dipping back into a hobby that makes you nervous because you don't want to be bad at it. Hey, give it a go. Because the first step of being kind of good at something is being kind of shit at something. And we all know that, but we don't like to admit it to ourselves. Look at this. I was so proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. I was like, damn, I got to keep going. So I started in on this one. And I'm not going to lie. I might even like this one better than the first one. All I got to tell you is that if you've been holding yourself back, you know that one nagging hobby that you have in the back of your head that you're like, I'm not going to do it because it's expensive or I don't have time for it or I'm tired at the end of the day. Just do it, baby. Get out there. You know, how high can the barrier of entry be for you to not do something you love? Truly, truly. And now I've done this and I'm like, I want to do this a billion times more. I'm about to buy so many more oil pastels and get back into a hobby that I haven't done in such a long time. I also made a little one for you guys because I was like, oh, what if I made like another version of these and like gave it away? Because I felt really good about these ones that I made. I ended up making a third one, which I'll show in a second. I didn't actually film the process of it, but um, yeah, these are the two ones that I finished. And I feel so good about them and now I want to make more. I was gonna show you the two other pieces that I made because they're kind of cute. I kind of thought I might give one of them away, but the one that I would give away, I don't think is good enough. So I'm gonna try to make another one and maybe in my next video we'll do a giveaway. So let me know if that's even interesting to you. If you would like a piece of my art, comment down below and let me know because I think that would actually be kind of cute. I think I just need to rework the type of paper I'm using. Anyways, let me show you the two pieces. Okay, so this one is just a little dinner scene right and she's actually like really cute i really like her we've got a little blue table some glasses of wine some olives a little chair i love these green stripies um so yeah it's just a little scene nothing crazy but i really think she's cute and i think she works as like a triptych with the two other pieces like i think this one could be in the middle and then the flowers could be on either side and I think it would look really cool. The other one I made, I was experimenting with trying a smaller form of paper and I don't think that it really executed in the way that I wanted it to. I was also trying to use um, a lot of yellow because that was the one oil pastel that I had a lot of left over. But I think she's cute. Like she's just a little kind of version of, oh. She's just a little kind of version of the big one. You know? And I think she's fine. Like if you put her in a really quirky frame, I think she could look cute. But I just, I think it looks a little amateurish. But I don't know if it's just because it's a smaller size, like the scale is smaller. So the oil pastel is kind of reading like this. Eh, I don't know. But what are these? Oh, these are terrible. Did I draw this? Oh, these are just like terrible drawings of Will that I must have done at some point. Oh God, these are bad. These are really, really bad. Okay, it is the next day, folks. And I'm in a car. I am going to go pick up 
my latest little collab with Lisa Says Got, which I'm so excited about. It's a tank top version of my rat tee. Let's go pick it up together. And so that's what I did. I walked up to Lisa Says Got, but right before that, I did this in front of the bushes like a Facebook mom. Um, I found my tee in the store, which was so cool. And then look, big reveal. Look at this gorgeous fairy rat. I made it home in my cutie patootie little tank top and oh, what did I do while I was at Lisa Says Ga? I purchased a cute pair of shoes. Freaking sue me. Wee woo wee woo, put me in cuffs, baby. If, if buying up these little shoes because they were a steal is a crime, lock me up. But um, let's style them together because I have an idea. I think a sock would look really, really cute with this. Aren't those gorgeous? And I actually think they'll be so cute with my cutie patootie tank top, which is coming out uh, later this month. I think this is launching the final week of March, FYI. Sock. I wish I had gotten this skirt in a bigger size. I think it's so cute, but I wish it could be a little bit more like low waisted. Here, if I stand back here, you can kind of see it. Hi, oh, sorry I'm so far away. I think they're so sweet though, aren't they fun? They're like little, Little see-through little uh, ballet flats. They're so cute. Okay, all I'm saying is, it is the braless tank top. Take my word on that. Okay, I am gonna wear this red bag for basically all of eternity now. Sorry. Wanted to really quickly say thank you for watching this big old mess of a vlog. I'm actually really enjoying making these types of videos where I just sort of mash together a bunch of random clips. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. <laughs> and I will see you guys next month for another one of these. Bye!